How's it going, guys? Welcome to Scratching the Itch. This is the show where we go on to itch.io. We try to find some interesting games. In the last episode, we played Salmon a Tuna, a Russian game that was about salmoning tuna, and in a not so surprising twist, apparently, Salmon a Tuna is a Russian slang for sucking a dick. So, yeah, I kind of figured it would be something like that. So that's a thing that I discovered. And uh, in this episode, we're playing The Aftermath. Now, this is a game that actually looks kind of promising and cool. Kind of like the Papers, Please version of... I guess you're basically like the, um, the person at the desk when people die. You decide if they go to heaven, they go to hell, one would assume, based on the things they've done in their life. So let's go check it out. A cataclysmic event has caused the death of every living being on Earth. The Judgment Day has come with its load of paperwork. I would assume there is a lot of paperwork. People must go to heaven or hell. You are the only judge. Alright, well hopefully I'm a great judge. Controls, right click to drag, left click to zoom in and out. Okay, I can do that, I think. So we got our right click, this guy. Okay, so we can uh, zoom in here. Name, Isabel Liker. Country, Suriname. I don't know if that's a real country or not. Female, age 16, she liked drawing and climbing, she killed a cat, murdered his wife, well that doesn't, what? But she's a girl, doesn't make any sense. She farts in cars, okay. Um, murdered wife, murdered his wife who was suspected of abusing their child. I mean... One, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm very confused as to whether you're a guy or a girl. So, you also murdered someone, and you killed a cat by age 16, so I gotta, unfortunately, toss you over to hell, I think. I think that's the only way to uh, go ahead and do that there. Okay, so, let's go ahead with, um, Jacob Zigner from Georgia. Male age 92, wow, a very, uh, full life. He liked shopping. He would go there every day. He would shop for, one would assume, some crazy things. Um, his life info, he inherited mental disorders from his parents. That's not really his fault. And uh, he uses the hashtag no filter hashtag, although filters are used. I mean, at the gr in the grand scheme of things, there is... I mean, that, that doesn't really harm anyone. He liked shopping. So we obviously supported some retail businesses, and I can I can respect that. So there we go. You're going over to heaven, bro. You didn't kill people like the 16-year-old, possibly ma male, possibly female person. So, uh, Louis Fujiyama from the Czech Republic, age 89. He was a game developer at that age. That's insane. He built a gigantic mansion atop a hill, and he farts in cars. Well, I mean, don't we all fart in cars sometimes? You can't choose when or when you don't fart. If you hold it in, then you could probably be leading to some health problems if that got too crazy. So, you know what? There's probably a reason he lived to age 89. Because he wasn't afraid to, you know, fart in a car. Julia Bodrock from the Philippines died at age 55. She loved rope skipping, so she was obviously healthy. Wonder why uh, she died at 55. She also farts in cars. Everyone farts in cars. What is with this? I mean, is that really so important? Is that life info really that important that I need to know this every single time? Always kills bugs. Well, I mean, bugs are kind of jerks sometimes. They never, you know, I've had having spiders in my house lately too. And I don't mind spiders every now and then, but when they get into my room, all bets are off. So, I support you, Julia. Alright, here we go. Um, Angelica Parker from Sierra Leone. Female, age 68. She also loved rope skipping and collecting stamps. She'd do those at the same time. It was very difficult, but she did it. She manages to pull it off. She's racist. She has a cancer. She took drugs. Again, murdered his wife, although she's a woman. Very confusing. I don't know what all the deal with this is. Uh, yeah, you're, you you murdered someone, you're going to hell. That's, that's a thing that's just gonna happen. Unfortunately. Alright, um, Brian Thompson from the, U from the UAE. Male age at 33. He loved collecting anime figures. Oh, you're going to hell, buddy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, anime fans. Jeez. Uh, never lifts the toilet seat. That's fine. I forget sometimes, too. Stole medicine. Uh, mi misspelled medicine there, bruh. 
and uh, didn't go to their own mother's funeral. Won the national lottery twice. Huh. Well, I mean, I can't... Maybe you didn't like your mother. Maybe your mother wasn't a very good person. You didn't really do anything that was that bad other than stealing medicine. We don't know what type of medicine it is. It could have been, like, ibuprofen or something, so... I don't have the required information to send you to hell. And damn you for all eternity. Maybe there's extra paperwork that was not sent over to me. How am I supposed to know? Alright, Mr. Tom Belleville. Uh, okay, so you're male age 69, you love football and game development. Never says thank you, never gave their bus seat to the elderly. Makes the best muffins in the neighborhood and helped 80 prisoners escape from jail. Huh. I mean, we don't know, was this a maximum security prison? Again, I don't have all the info, so, um... But again, that's 80 prisoners. I mean, you would assume that in order to help 80 people, some of the people will probably have to die, like some of the jail guards or something like that, so... I'm just gonna send you over there. And this is like, a, a lot of my job right now is just kind of based off assumption, I've noticed. Alright, Mr. Tom Orfelds from Austria, age of 61, you loved camping and puzzle solving, anti-heterosexual, and he killed a cat. Did he intentionally kill a cat? I don't know, maybe he ran it over, maybe he backed up in his driveway and he... Anti-heterosexual. Very weird, so one would assume he's gay, but you know what? That's fine with me. You can be anti-something and still allow it to be okay. It doesn't say he killed heterosexuals, it said he killed a cat. I mean, I, I would assume most cats are heterosexual, but still, it's probably okay. Alright, Jessica Johnstone from uh, Malawi. I didn't know that was a real country either. Female age at 75, she loves stalking? That's, that's... That's not good at all. Shopping and gymnastics. I mean, I would assume gymnastics goes really well with stalking. You can get up to those very hard-to-reach and hard-to-see places. She steps on a Lego piece with the bare feet at least once a day. How much Lego do you have in your house, lady? That's kind of insane. Devoted four years of their life to help children in Africa. That's good. Farts in cards, as does everyone else, and has been single their entire life. No mentions of stalking. Maybe she just loves stalking Lego pieces and then steps on them. That could be her hobby in life, so for that, you can go to heaven, because stepping on Lego would be the worst thing in the world. Alright, so over to the store page. As updating the game would be too much of a distraction with my current project, I, th I thought it would be cool to let everybody participate in a big content update. You can now suggest life infos here, so if you go over to their page, you can actually submit uh, other things uh, to put in the game, so that's kind of cool. So description, you, the player, are a purgatory intern who has to take all of the paperwork the day after everyone died. So I guess literally everyone died, like the rapture happened or something, by reading... I think it's supposed to be reading uh, through each person's personal info sheet. You must judge whether they deserve to go to heaven or go to hell. I mean, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's definitely got a few uh, things that aren't exactly um, fleshed out with it so far. There's a couple spelling mistakes that I noticed, as well as um, a couple things that are very confusing, like um, it being like females and then it saying that he killed someone. And it's it's there's a couple little confusing things in there, but all in all. It's a neat little game. So, uh, guys, if you want to go check it out, it is over on itch.io. There's going to be a link down in the description. And uh, you can go see what it's all about for yourself. I am Patty Jack, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day.